Hello, hello. This is Real Talk, Real People. And I've got a rather, uh, I guess we can call it interesting story, uh, article that I came across and I just wanted to uh, put it out there. A little something to put in perspective now that it is 2021. Um, stuff like this still happens. So um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on your way in. And let's get into it. You read it right. This article comes from Atlanta Black Star, South America, World News. Black Brazilian woman rescued after spending 38 years in slave labor for a university professor's family. Interesting. Written by Mr. Matt Bruce. Uh, written then. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, <clears throat> let's just go by the record. A Brazilian maid who reportedly spent nearly 40 years in servitude was finally rescued from her captors late last month. The woman now 46 was just eight years old when her destitute mother handed her over to Dalton Cesar Miligres Regire, Regira, a professor at Patos de Minas University, otherwise known as Unipam, authorities say. Riguera's mother raised the young child and she spent the past 38 years working for the family without pay or any time off. She was relegated to a life of cleaning and even forced into marriage. Brazilian news site Fantastico broke the news on December 20th and identified the woman as Madalina Gordiano. According to the report, she is a black woman. During her captivity, Guadiano was granted limited freedoms and remained under constant watch by the family. They gave her food when she was hungry, but all other rights were taken from her. Humberto uh, Camasime, the anti-slavery inspector who led the mission to rescue the enslaved woman, told Thomas Reuters Foundation. Authorities moved Guadiano into a shelter and she began She's being treated by psychologists and social workers, Reuters reported. Goriano allegedly was forced to marry an elderly relative of the family so they could continue to collect his pension payments after he died. Wow. Unreal. Brazil's Labor uh, Prosecutor's Office investigated the case, and the Public Ministry of Labor rescued her November 27th with help from the federal police According to Brazilian TV station G1, Trangulo e Alto Paraniva, MPT inspectors found her living inside a small windowless room in an apartment in the heart of Patos de Minas, a municipality in the Brazilian state Minas Gerais. It was a room no less than three meters long by two meters wide, stuffy and without ventilation, Camisime said. More than 100 demonstrators took the streets of Patos de Minas on December 21st to protest Goriano's years of ill treatment. The protesters marched in front of Unipam and denounced Riera. Elida Abreu, Abre, 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 a member of the organization that coordinated the rally, told G1, uh, called the situation shocking and said it signaled the longstanding tradition of Brazil's racial divide. Man, you said it. Brazil was the last country in the Americas to abolish slavery, so we still live with the remnants of the period of slavery, Bruce said. Black people in Brazil are still subject to inequality, segregation, and violence. Very true. Akami Sime said residents in the apartment complex report suspicious activity after Giordano began slipping notes under her neighbor's door asking her for money to buy personal hygiene items. According to Fantastico's report, Giordano married an uncle of the Riguera's wife. She never lived with the man, but when he died shortly after their nuptials, he left behind two pensions totaling $1,560 each month. But Giordano's employer controlled her bank accounts, and the woman never received any of the pension funds. Reuters said Giordano is now keeping her late husband's pension, and authorities are working to reunite her with her biological family. Wow. Fantastico reports that about 55,000 people have been rescued from slavery in Brazil over the past 25 years. Wow. 
In 2019, 14 people were free from domestic slave labor. Harder thing to detect because many of those victims don't even realize they're living in servitude. Oh my goodness. A Unabom spokesman told Reuters that the university suspended Riguera, saying all legal measures are being taken. Suspended? He needs to be fired. What are you, what are you talking about? The professional family members are now being investigated for criminal offenses tied to subjugating Giordano. To many news reports describe the slave-like conditions. If convicted, Riguera and company could face as many as 20 years in prison. Wait, 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 wait. No way. No way. 20 years? They should get... They should be getting... 38 years. Now, well... They need to be doing more than 20 years. You know, I know... Wow, that's that's just crazy. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Um, Brian Epstein Campos, an attorney representing the professor's family, released a statement decrying the negative media coverage of his client. <laughs> really? The G1 story included the full text of his statement. With respect to all possible valid interpretations in the right of a demonstration in democracy, Defense informs that it has not yet had access to all the elements that involve Madalena. The statement read, the premature and irresponsible disclosure by state inspectors and agents before of a process that by a sentence recognizes guilt, violates the rights and sensitive data of the family and violates their personal security. Defense will continue to discreet and serious acting exclusively within the constitutional limits of due process. A careful reflection after knowing all the facts will never create harm. Uh, okay, no, no, no. This article blew my mind, the, just the headline. But just to read that you people are, black folks are dealing with slavery in South America and all around the world. Um, Libya, wherever else you can think of, South America, Brazil, People were being rescued as of 2019, 14 people. These people, they're literally being sold off as kids, given away as kids, and are in domestic servitude, not even knowing that they're slaves. They just grew up knowing this is just how it is. I can't believe this. Um, but what do you guys say? I mean, I will put this link in the chat so you guys can read this and reference this. I last time I saw there was a picture of the professor, um, but it looks like they took that off. But yeah, what do you guys say? I mean, uh, you know, people always want to talk. Well, we've come so far, and in, in, in some respects, we have. But man, Brazil, come on, man, Brazil, the place is one of the second largest uh, African diaspora populations. You got stuff like this going on for shame. Uh, again, this is real talk, real people. As always, keep it real.